Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're going to be adding our layout object into the collection view. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to create layout object and we're going to say snappy flow layout. Okay. And uh, what we're going to do here is um, we are simply going to provide this layout instead of providing this layout. So we're going to provide the snappy flow layout object um, right there. Okay. So then our initialization and everything is good. Okay, so now uh, let's create a uh, variable lazy bar for our background view. Um, background view, that's gonna be our blur view, so blur back view. And we're gonna add that into our view controller as well. Blur back view. So we can use actually image literal here. So image literal and so I'll click and uh, let's use maybe this one. Okay. So you're gonna use that as a background image and uh, now we're gonna create our data um, source. So our data is equal to data is of type UI image and it's simply gonna have all the UI images. So image literal, image literal. So I'm gonna select this one. So let me do this. Uh, instead of typing in like you see me typing all these, I'm gonna copy paste. I've got all the images right here so okay so these are all the 12 images that we have uh, so let's take a look 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 okay so these 12 images so we're gonna simply go back yeah so that's gonna be our data source uh, we're gonna make sure that we are collection views delegate and data source gonna make sure that views dot background color is white color and uh, then we're gonna simply add view dot add sub view and background view we're gonna add that view dot add sub view collection view okay now we're gonna do ns layout constraints dot activate and uh, we're gonna add some constraints to our collection view and uh, background view so uh, background view is going to be uh, leading dot constraint equal to view dot leading and since this is going to be same I'm going to copy paste so it's going to be trailing trailing top and bottom okay and then we're gonna have our collection view so collection view dot uh, leading to constraint is going to be equal to views leading constraint so uh, view dot leading collection view dot trailing anchor is uh, going to be equal to Strain equal to view dot trailing and then collection views top anchor is going to be constraint equal to view dot safe uh, safe layout safe area layout guide uh, so that's uh, this area right here uh, so because of the navigation view is going to be actually moved down here dot top dot um, so it's coll collection views uh, top is going to be safe areas top anchor so it's going to be equal to that okay 
and then you're gonna have collection view dot height so we're gonna give it height and we're gonna be setting it to 400 okay now uh, let's go ahead and implement uh, or extend uh, basically to provide delegate and data source for the collection view so we're gonna say extension snapped uh, view controller UI collection view delegate and UI collection view data source and uh, right here we're gonna say um, number of of items in section and we're gonna simply return data dot count for number of items in section and cell for item at index path is uh, going to be let cell is equal to collection view dot dq cell for identifier cell for index path index path and this is gonna be cast as snappy cell so we can set its super image view dot image is equal to data dot index path dot item and we can return the cell okay now uh, next thing uh, we're gonna have so let's see what have we been saying um, okay nothing so next thing we're gonna do is how uh, we're gonna go to our app delegate and uh, here uh, we are saying that advanced view controller is basically advanced collection view is our entry point so we can actually um, change that so I'm just gonna comment this line and I'm gonna keep ABC here but I'm gonna say snapped view controller or maybe snapped PC so let's put this name or Snap cell. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, not snap cell. Snapped VC. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this, and we're gonna see if our layout has been successfully set or not. So, okay, so there we go. We can see, as you can see, our layout is actually successfully set, and it's actually working <laughs> pretty nice. Okay. So, there we go. Okay. So, uh, my simulator is actually running a bit uh, crazy, but as you can see, if we, like, you know, scroll really fast, it actually works really good. Okay. So, a uh, couple of things. I think the background view that we have chosen, the image that we have chosen for the background view is a little bit, it's not very nice, so I'm going to choose this one. And let's go ahead and rerun it and um, you can take a look if that actually made any difference okay so that's actually good yeah that looks good all right so what we're gonna do next is uh, we're gonna simply add a uh, table view uh, just to show you like you know how you can add a table view uh, into the scene uh, but as far as our layout work is uh, uh, like you know is concerned uh, that's actually already done so let me really quickly uh, put together a table view and uh, we can see how to add the table view into the into the scene so lazy bar table view UI table view and uh, let me just go to UI table view view okay so uh, we want to select a class uh, to register as a reuse identifier so table cell um, now what we can do is we can create a, a custom cell so UI table view cell and we're gonna say table cell for this one not a really fancy name but it'll work for us um, table cell and uh, this table cell is going to have uh, first of all it's gonna have superhero uh, object so superhero 
and uh, whenever someone sets that um, we are gonna put an observer here and we're gonna set if super hero is equal to super hero that means we have something uh, supplied here if let actually okay then we're gonna set our uh, image and stuff so let's create our image so lazy bar uh, lazy private bar image v ui image view provide the uh, corner radius so layer dot corner radius is equal to 10 okay and we can return that view all right so that's our image and uh, then we're gonna have our name label so lazy private Bar, name label You know, set the font size. So with size twenty four, text color to white, and we're simply gonna return that view here. Okay, and then we're gonna be having description. So I'm gonna copy this, and uh, this is gonna be called DESC label, and um, the font is going to be a little bit smaller. So. 16 points a color is still going to be white there's one extra property we want to provide is number of lines number of lines is equal to zero okay uh, that will make sure that we expand the cell according to the um, according to the um, uh, the text uh, content uh, so we can expand our uh, expand the cell uh, sales height uh, based on number of lines that are needed to wrap that content okay then we're gonna override our init um, super and we're gonna call our function setup all right so uh, we're going to create a function, uh, a private function, setup. And we're going to set our background color for the cell uh, to be um, UI color dot black dot with alpha component and 0 0.5. Okay, and we're going to call this. Uh, set up right here and we're going to implement a decoder function as well so super dot in it um, a decoder and we're going to call our setup here as well just to uh, make sure that we have properly initialized the cell and now um, uh, the thing uh, we we're going to do is basically add all of our uh, views uh, that we have created into our uh, cell so we're gonna simply say add sub view image view add sub view name label add sub view description label and we're gonna create our s layout constraint dot activate and let's constrain these so image view dot width anchor dot constraint 
and uh, this is going to be equal to 100 image view dot height anchor dot constraint is equal to 100 as well image view dot leading anchor dot constraint is equal to basically leading anchor and 10 as a constant image view dot trailing or top basically so we don't need really uh uh, trailing if you remember from the last example uh, that we had uh, basically we have um, this image view set uh, like you know just the top and left and then it's width and height so uh, you're gonna have top anchor dot constraint uh, is equal to top constraint top constraint top anchor 10 okay so uh, this is gonna uh, basically put our image at this location with 100 width and height and uh, next uh, we're gonna put our name label so name label dot leading anchor dot constraint equal to and uh, this is going to have uh, basically it's gonna start from image views trailing anchor uh, so we're gonna start it from here um, and the uh, distance or the constant, uh, basically the, the distance between these two is going to be 10. Okay. Then name label dot trailing constraint is going to be trailing anchor and negative 10. Top anchor is going to be constraint to top anchor with 10 and we don't need bottom because uh, we're gonna put another view at the bottom so we can start with description uh, label dot top anchor or leading first so leading is going to be uh, same as what we have here so uh, image views trailing anchors uh, and uh, 10 as a constant then DC label dot trailing anchor is going to be constrained to trailing anchor for the view with negative 10 as a constant and its top anchor is going to be constrained to our name labels bottom cons bottom anchor uh, with uh, value 10 so basically the constant distance between those two is going to be 10 points and then description label dot bottom anchor dot constraint is going to be equal to the bottom anchor and negative 10 as a constant okay so that is our that is our table view cell that's created now let's go back to our uh, view controller and um, we're going to register this so table cell dot self you know register that and uh, then we're simply going to say um, let data is equal to or let table data is equal to superhero dot populate Avengers so this is going to give us the array of uh, Avengers uh, data and uh, what we're going to do basically uh, we're going to simply go and make ourselves delegate in data source for table view as well so table view dot delegate is equal to self table view dot data source is equal to self as well and then we're gonna set table views estimated row height 200 uh, because we want to use the fact that uh, table view can table view cell can grow automatically so we're gonna give row height to be UI table view dot automatic dimension so this property uh, is basically gonna resize according to the content uh, that's available uh, within 
the views inside the cell and uh, for that reason you have to actually provide an estimated row height so um, we have I've just chosen a number and just put that hundred in there table view dot background color is going to be clear color okay and uh, we are simply gonna add as sub view table view and gonna we're gonna just add uh, table view uh, constraints so table view dot leading anchor is going to be constrained to view dot leading anchor uh, no constant leading trailing then you have top and top anchor is going to be constrained to your uh, view uh, your collection view so gonna use um, collection view dot bottom anchor so bottom anchor of the collection view with a constant value of 10 and table views bottom anchor is going to be constrained to views dot view dot bottom anchor like so okay let's go ahead and build uh, the delegate and data source in the extension so snapped view controller extending UI table view delegate and UI table view data source and one thing we forgot is basically setting these values in super uh, hero when this set so let's go ahead and and do that really quickly so we are simply gonna say image view dot image is equal to super hero dot profile pick uh, and then name label dot text is equal to superhero dot name and description label dot text is equal to superhero dot description okay so let's go back and uh, here we're gonna uh, simply say uh, use number of uh, number of rows uh, so first of all number of rows Uh, number of rows in section and we're going to return table data dot count in this case and uh, cell for row at row at index path is going to be cell table view dot dq reusable identifier cell or rather table cell I think let's make sure it is table cell as table table cell so we can use cell dot super hero is equal to table data index path dot row and we're gonna return the cell okay now let's go ahead and run this really quickly uh, to see if we have successfully implemented our table view. All right, so there we go. We have our table view cell showing up and uh, our table view content height is automatically adjusted based on uh, the content that's available for the text, okay? So, uh, so this is it uh, for the for the custom control. Uh, as you can see, uh, it is uh, very easy to build, but there are like you know some pre-computed values that you have to actually calculate. Uh, but uh, I hope this gives you enough idea, like you know, to do your own experiments. So uh, I would highly recommend you to uh, uh, do some experiments and come up with uh, new uh, different types of. Uh, of layouts. Uh, Ray Vanderlick has a uh, Pinterest layout uh, and uh, that's actually a good example so I would actually totally recommend you trying that out um, and uh, I will uh, try to build out something similar uh, uh, like pretty soon uh, so yeah uh, but but yeah uh, this is it for uh, for this uh, section so thanks again for watching <laughs>